download starting file is done. Hey guys, uh, coming back here with a little bit different project. Um, I'm exploring the game Decker and I'm going to list it as version 1.12 in the video listing because otherwise uh, uh, otherwise you might have a hard time finding this game. It is a freeware game. It was, as it says here, um, never sold for money. Uh, it says free to distribute. Um, now this original version is the one I'm playing and um, hard to capture. It's all Windows based and my capture software likes to lock on to one window. But every time we do a new thing, there's a new window. Um, and also you can't make this any bigger. So like, this is this tiny little window in the middle of my screen. There is um, a re-release that was put onto like a browser. You see, you can play this through a browser. Um, and it actually has some revisions and bug fixes. So if you actually want to check out this game, I probably would recommend that version of it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, this is what we're going to play today. And, uh, let's try to figure out how to do this. I started recording, got like three hours of footage, realized it was all really boring. And then I realized that this game isn't really that exciting for most people. Um, so I'm just going to focus on how the game works, show you how the, you know, just kind of play like through a couple missions. And then, uh, if it looks interesting, you know, go play it. If it doesn't, you know, move on to the next video because it's, it, it's it's just like a lot of um grinding and uh it's a game i've heard people call this kind of game kind of like a spreadsheet game because it's just like a bunch of numbers the graphics are terrible the sounds are terrible but um this is still one of the most addicting games that i've ever played every time i play it i just can't put it down um anyway so i'm gonna load it up and um <clears throat> The uh, main reason that this game came to mind is I just finished my uh, Sega Genesis Shadowrun game. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit, something a little bit different before I went on to the Super Nintendo Shadowrun game. And uh, this, is, this is it. So if you liked the um, Matrix game in uh, the Sega Genesis Shadowrun, um, this is basically it with worse graphics but better gameplay, if that makes any sense. So you are a, um, you are a Decker. It's in a cyberpunk world, um, not necessarily the Shadowrun world. Um, and I'll go through, so this is like your main hub. And then in terms of character, of course, you've got your name. Your reputation determines um, what kind of missions are available. And then how many skill points you get from completing those missions. Um, and then your reputation gets capped by your lifestyle, which is actually a really cool, um, effect. So I just, I just recently upgraded to middle class. So I'm living like a pretty decent human being. Um, at some point my reputation will get capped when I hit the upper end of what that allows. And I'll have to upgrade to whatever the lifestyle above this is upper class or wealthy or whatever. Uh, money, I've got 29,000, which is a lot. I've got 100% physical health. I've got the, um, the D over here. And then I chose Iron Man, but, um, I'm not quite sure how it works because I've been able to save and load, but I've been challenging myself not to save scum at all anyway. So, um, I don't think this game is that fun if you save scum. I think it's a lot more fun when it, when you force yourself to just play through. And then, of course, we have your skills, attack, defense, stealth, analysis, um, programming, and then ship design. Um, you might notice that I have a lot of points in ship design. We'll come back to that in a moment. But basically, um, your skill points, it takes that many points to raise your stat if you have that. If I wanted to raise ship design, I'd have to spend 16 points. Um, I only have 10, so I can't raise any of my current stats. Um, yeah, and then if you want to upgrade your lifestyle, well, there we are. And then um, currently a middle class, rent is $2,000. 
it's due in one day because it's the end of the month. So in one day, I will lose two thousand um, dollars. If you don't have that money in your account when rent is due, you lose the game. Like that's the main that's the main way to lose the game. All right, and then my cyber deck. Um, you can see all of my stuff is twelve. I'll explain what that means in a moment, but um. So the CPU rating, you can't have any chips that are stronger than your CPU. And then your coprocessor and your CPU determine how much software you can have loaded at a time. And then these give you bonuses to different things. So attack gives you bonus to attack. Um, kind of, it's actually fairly simple. And then over here, optional hardware. This is sort of um, the really important stuff. This is what I'm working on building up right now. Um, for example, one of my last missions, I had a, I forget what it was called. It was like a trace proxy or something. Um, an enemy ice did a trace on me and it burnt out my proxy. And if it hadn't burned out my proxy, I would have been my character would have been arrested and I would have lost the game. Um, so I have to be really careful until I replace that. Um, I don't want people finding out where I live. And then down here is the software. And these are just the ones that I use. Um, there's a couple more programs even than this available. Um, attack is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, silence. You'll see me using this a lot. If you run silence, um, ice can't set off alarms. So one of the things you can do, if you just want to brute force your way through a system, silence the node and then just kill the ice with attack and they, can, they can't get an alarm off. Um, smoke makes um, everybody in the node have a harder time to hit. But it also allows you to um, get it's almost it's like a smoke bomb. Like if you put down the smoke in a node and you're being attacked, you can leave that node and the ice doesn't know where you went, so they can't follow you. Uh, medic helps you repair yourself on the fly. Armor is kind of a necessity because it uh, reduces the amount of damage you take. Uh, hide super important because um, it determines just you moving through the system whether or not people um, people if, if the ice can see you and then um, if the ice does see you it might ask you for a password in which case you run to deceive on it and you try to generate a password um, analyze you can analyze ice to see what it is what it does and then once you have it 100% analyzed, you have a bonus on any of your other programs used on it. Scan allows you to scan the node for anything important, which is actually really important. You want scan. Um, evaluate lets you know whether the data files that you find are actually worth any money. Um, decrypt is um, certain files have things on it that... Um, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go do something else. Don't meow at me. All right. My cat's come to say hello. Um, so decrypt you use on, um, so certain files will have ice protecting them. And if you try to access the file, um, the ice will scramble it and destroy it. So you have to run decrypt to get rid of those ones. Uh, virus is one of my favorites. So what you can do is you can actually, um, it's an attack and you'll infect the ice. There's a decent chance that the ice won't notice it. Um, so you can come up, infect them, and then you can actually like leave the node and then wait and come back and see how much damage they took. Um, reinfect them if you want. Um, the way I play this is I try to be like a stealthy assassin, and so this is one of my favorite attacks. Um, shield. 
I don't know. I don't usually leave it up, but once combat is started, I'll put up a shield because otherwise you can get killed very quickly in the Matrix. And then only recently I've been using um, an area attack spell. A spell. <laughs> this is fantasy. Um, I was just realizing that I have enough room that I can load other stuff onto. Um, so the area attack will hit all ice in the node, but like at half damage. Um, and then down here, the current load. So with all my programs loaded up, I have 384 MP and that says average. You look over here, if you have fewer, um, programs loaded, you have a light load and you have a bonus to all of your actions. And then if you have too many programs loaded, you have a heavy load and you have a penalty to all of your actions. Um. So I usually just stay in the average zone because I like, I like having choices and options. Um, you could go with a pure stealth deck, um, and aim for the low, the light load. Um, but yeah. So anyway, those are the programs I use. There are others available. Uh, view contracts is how you get a job. Um... Oh, interesting. All right. Um, this is the only job available, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, the target, this tells you the, the system rating. And basically, you want to compare that against your deck in your programs. So looking back, um, so my stealth is at 13, for example. And my stealth firmware is at 12. So that's a total of 25. Um, 25, and actually if you look at my programs, say I'm trying to use hide, that's 37 total. So I've added three numbers, right? 37. With this, the, the target number is going to be, I think it's 10 like always 10 plus two times the system rating. So like 20, so 30. And then um, if I'm trying to act on ice, then I add the ice's rating to the target as well. And then it's basically a D20 system. So I roll a 20 set of die and add all of my bonuses, which was what, 37. And then I'm trying to beat the target, which is, um, let's say 10, 30, say if the, the, the ice is, is level 10, then I'm trying to roll a 40 or something like that. Um, I actually should be able to beat them. <clears throat> the quick and dirty way to look at it is the target is 10. I have 13 stealth. 12 stealth firmware, 12 programs, so I should be, more often than not, I should be beating these. Anyway, um, another way to look at it is the difficulty is 60%. Um, take that divided by 12, and that's sort of like roughly how difficult the, pro uh, the system should be. So there should be a 12, but there's something that lowers this target, and that is I have three targets, and I have to not set off an alarm. So they lower the target number because of my other stipulations of the contract. I have five days to do it, although I think if I set off the alarm, I just fail, period. And then the pay is 1,000 credits, which is, eh, it's all right. I'm going to go ahead and accept it because it's the only job anyway. Oops. View. And then it's kind of cool. A uh, client needs access to security files from the cybernetic prosthetic system. You must recover a copy of this data. Three targets. The target system must not be become aware of any tampering. Okay. I'm going to keep going down the list here. So buy hardware and software. Um, so these are all programs that I could buy. Uh, notice that all my programs are level 12. So these are all junk to me. And I've never actually purchased a program from the store. Um, the hardware tends to be a little bit more interesting, but I think I have all these. And then the chips, 
all of mine are level 12, so these are all junk to me. You can special order. And I did, I special ordered my um, trace proxy, so once that arrives, I'll have that back. And that's kind of what I've been doing. The order will arrive in three days, so I'm kind of stalling for three days. I don't want to do too tough of a mission until I get that back, because I don't, don't really want my game to end on a trace. Uh, so projects. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, um... You can design your own ships, which is what I did here. Uh, that's why they're level 12. Um, and the upper rating of what you can design is determined by your chip design. Now you might notice my chip design is up to 16. Um, I mean, I could have upgraded at 13, but it's it's like an incremental increase. It's basically a plus 5%. Um, waiting until 16, like the CPU, um, basically gives me a plus 20%, which is a lot better. Anyway, I can design my own chips, and I can design my own programs. Um, I am waiting for my new CPU to finish cooking, um, because it's my chip burner. But there's still nine more days, um, for that, so that's gonna be a long time. Um, getting a really good chip burner is one of your good, one of your first priorities when you first start out the game, so you can get these chips burnt at a pretty good speed. Um, and then the chip burner will work regardless of what I'm up to. The firmware, this is the project, this is, I'm still designing it, so I need to actually work for two days. It's two days that I won't be do, taking contracts. Um, if there's contracts I don't like, or there are no contracts, then I'll, I'll work on these and finish that design. But I can't burn that chip until this one's done burning anyway, so that's why that one's still out there. Um, if you get wounded, you can rest and recuperate. Um, going to the hospital helps it go faster. If you take damage in the Matrix, you don't take physical damage unless um, they dump you, and then usually you take a little bit of damage from the, the feedback. Uh, I, don't, I haven't seen anything like Black Ice like in Shadowrun, so um, I don't know if that's something that's going to appear later. Let's see, and then that's pretty well it. There's the game options. Um, leave tooltips on because it explains what the different buttons in the game do. And then um, I'm going to enter the matrix, so that's, you just click on that to enter your mission. Alright, so it looks like Shadowrun. Here's the, um, the system access node, except they call it something else. I'm not sure what PO stands for. Um, so this is an attack type ice. In fact, I'll analyze it so you can take a look. So attack type, rating 10, no damage, attacks intruders normally. And then you notice I can scan it multiple times. Once I have a 100% on it, then I get a bonus. And then this is a reinforced fence. Let me analyze this. You know what I'm doing here, so it's a gateway. Um, it basically is completely passive until I try to move through it. And again, I'll go ahead and analyze it. Um, so if I just go ahead and click on the Move East button, I just moved through, and it auto does hide for me, so it says Reinforced Fence was successfully bypassed by the Hide 12 program. Occasionally, it'll stop and query me because my Hide program failed. And in that case, I have to run Deceive on it or make another choice. One of the reasons I like this game is that you have an entire repertoire of decisions to make. Now, I have a hardware thing. Um, I think it's called a proximity mapper. It lets me see one node out, so I know there's a data store south of me. And that's a dead end. Let's see. And my target is in a data store, but I don't want it yet. Um, instead, I'm going to go to the SBU, and you can pull up a map from the SBU. Okay, I noticed I got queried when I tried to pull the map, so this... This is a... Um, I should have analyzed it first so you could see. 
Okay. I'm gonna silence. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna silence it and then I'm gonna deceive it. Okay, it's deceived. Okay. I'm gonna pull up that map first and then I'm gonna analyze it so you can see what it is. So it's a guardian. Ooh, rating 11. And what it does is anytime you try to interact with the node, you have to pass your high check or it queries you for a password. If you're not doing anything in the node, you can walk by and it doesn't care. All right, and then this guy here. Oh, I need to start getting piercing attacks. I didn't realize that. It explains why the knights have been kicking my butt a little bit. Okay, and then it just said a scout entered the node. Um, this is a different type, so I'm going to try analyzing it before it leaves. There we go. So these are probes. Um, and they actually will search. They they walk through the system looking for intruders. Um, and I'm going to deal with them in a moment. But see, it, it already left. Okay. So I pulled up the map. The triangles are IO ports. And my mission does not involve that. There are three special IO ports. This one is the ice access port or entry port. If you close that, any ice you kill stays dead. So that's one of the first things I do in a system is I go ahead and I shut that down. Because what can happen is if a battle gets too long, like if I get in a fight with these guys, if I kill one of them and then the other one takes too long, this guy it can respawn. He'll, res he'll respawn at the access point. And then he'll move back through the system and then reposition himself here. If I'm still stuck in a fight, suddenly there's a 100% health reinforcements, which is no good. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is shut that one down. Um, the other one is this is a high speed connection. Um, you want to flip that whenever you can, because normally it takes about four or five turns for me to download a file. This will make it instantaneous. Same with loading programs. If my shield program gets crashed by an enemy ice, I can reload it in one turn if I get this. So it's a really powerful one to have. And then actually this one's not an IO, I forgot. It's actually one of the, um, I think they're co-processors, these green ones. These green ones normally don't do anything, but one of them is the security one. And if an alert gets set, you want to go there and turn off the alert. Although in my case, um, if there's a red alert, I've lost my mission. So I have to just give up anyway. Blue squares are the data stores. And then, um, so I came in this more solid pink. I want to call it a sand because that's what Shadowrun calls it, whatever the access, um, the entryway is. This one will take me into a deeper system. And when you're like low level, these, that's not a thing. Like when you're low level, there's just one system. Um, at my point, um, there's usually three layers of system and you don't know where your mission is. Um, so once you've conquered one system, you can look around. If you don't find your targets, then you move on to the next part of the system. Anyway, I'm going to go shut down the ice access port. Okay. All right. No reinforcements will appear. Now, since my mission is to find three files, I'm just going to head to the data stores. Uh, this one, you can see there's no ice guarding, um, guarding it at all. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to hit silence and then I'm going to scan. Um, the silence is not necessary, but if a scout walks through, I'm going to possibly ambush it. Okay. Um, now some of these are valuable and some of these are worthless because I have a mission where I don't want to trip off. Actually, there's no defenders here, so I might as well download some extras. Um, but normally I'd be very careful. Okay. So my evaluate came back and some of the ones that said they're valuable are actually worth a zero. So I'm not going to download those. Um, I kind of did that too fast. So I downloaded one that was worth money. And then this bar over here is how long it's going to take me. So 
one, two, three, four turns to download it. There is a timer up here that's only relevant in certain missions. Okay, so I'm going to move on. All right, now this node, we have a guardian and an attack type. If I scan and just scan, there's no chance of me setting off the defenses. All right, and I'm just going to leave because I'm trying not to trip off any alarms. Okay, same deal, except these two are... Let me analyze this. These two are tapeworms. Guards a file will self-destruct on illegal access, taking the file with it. And I'll go ahead and scan both. Just Yeah, so even though they have different... Um, even though they have different names, they are the same thing, basically. Different names, different pictures are the same thing. Oh, <laughs> I just kind of... Um, I clicked the wrong thing, but it worked out. So I decrypted that one so it is destroyed. I meant to silence first, because if um, decrypt fails, it sets off an alarm. All right, and then I'm going to scan. Nothing. All right, no defenders, just these um, tapeworms. So I'm going to silence the node in case my decrypt fails. And then, by the way, I can tell it's still silence because of this. Uh, if that disappears, I need to put silence back up. Um, silence is kind of OP, except um, if you're fighting enemy ice and silence stops in the middle of the fight, you have to take a turn out of the fight to re-silence the node. So it's, it can get pretty dicey. All right. Scan. Ooh, that's perfect. Um, clues give you clues as to where your real target is, so they're very important. It's one of the reasons I'll scan data stores even if... Scout. Okay. It's gonna virus the scout, but... Okay, and then they get the clues. You need to evaluate the node. Okay. Nice. Looks like I got it. And then, okay, so then here's the list of all the files. You don't need to worry about the clues because your character automatically just downloads the clue when you evaluate. But these ones are value 137 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Go ahead and download that. All right, that's it. Now, um, once you have the clue, the target data, uh, the, the target node is highlighted in red, and there's nothing highlighted in red here. So I'm moving on to the next part of the system. All right, and when you enter here, you click on Enter Portal. Okay, and then I see two, two of my targets. Okay. Oh, I see all three of my targets. Now, I would like to shut down the ice port. Not this one. There we go. Okay. So let's see. All right. I got the map. So I'm going to shut down the ice. Okay, no reinforcements. And then... I see one Guardian and two of these guys. <clears throat> so I can... I'm going to go ahead and analyze just to improve my chance of success. Got the Scout up in here. All 
I honestly don't normally run Analyze this much, but just want to show you how what it looks like to be more careful. This guy keeps hanging around. All right, and and so there's no cost other than time for analyze. And, um, and the fact that the probes will come and investigate you sometimes. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to silence the node. I'm going to hit this guy with the virus so you can see how that works. Okay. The virus is infected for 20 turns. The virus attack goes unnoticed. All right, the node's still silenced, so I'm going to go ahead and decrypt. Still silent. Decrypt. All right, and then you can always tell if the enemies are hostile or not. If they're green, they're not hostile. Um, you will see as I scan this node. Ooh, dang it! I want to get. I want to go. I want to get a virus going on that scout, but he keeps leaving before I can do it. Um, as I scan, you'll notice the guardian's health is going down. Oh, yes. Okay. So the notice silenced and the scout came in. So I'm going to virus him. Okay. Scout's been infected for 20 turns. Attack goes unnoticed. He's queried me. Uh, note still silenced. So I'm going to deceive him with a password. It worked. Okay. The scout's going to continue wandering around and eventually he's just going to die, which is pretty awesome. Just like this guardian will eventually die. Alright, and you see that's the same scout. I'm actually just gonna wait. There. So the guardian just died. And remember, he will not be replaced because I closed the access port. Okay, and then I'm supposed to download this file. Sometimes you have to edit the files, sometimes you have to delete the files, sometimes you have to download them, then delete them. All right, and you can always check on your mission. So I got one of the files downloaded. All right, um, same deal here. So I'm going to silence the node. Hit him with a virus. 12 turns, attack not noticed. Decrypt, okay. All right, and then I'm going to silence the node and hit him with the virus again. Okay. Oh. This is a new scout. Let's see, I'm still silenced, so I'm going to hit the scout. And then he'll just wander off and be damaged. The other scout's probably dead by now. Um... All right, and this is the second scout I just infected. All right, um, I need to download the contract file. You actually get a message, Scout is no longer infected, so that's the one that I just infected. Um, I'm going to hit silence just in case that Scout comes back. No, okay. Um, the virus does 5% damage every turn. So uh, basically, you know, if you infected them for 20 turns, they're dead, because 20 times 5 is 100% health. All right. This is a pretty easy node. Decrypt. Decrypt. All right. Scan. All right, there's that second scout, and I'm still silenced. All right, and I infected. Nope, I failed to infect him, but I also did not get noticed. So let's try this again. Okay, now it says the virus attack is noticed, and now he's red. 
but the note is silenced. So what I want to do is just hit him and kill him. All right, and then I killed him before the node got unsilenced. Okay. Let's go ahead and evaluate these. There's some good ones. Contract, ooh. A Bobby is just a scout by another name. And they move every turn, so I knew putting up a silence. There we go. Putting up a silence that turn, he just moved away, but now he came back. All right, and then he noticed. No, it's still silenced. So I'll just kill him. All right. Um, I think we're done. Let's see. Did I download the contract? I got confused. I think I already got it. Yeah, okay. So my mission is done, but I see some valuable files. The other thing that you can do... Oh, and then you can find programs. Weak in level 9. I don't really need that, so I'm not going to download it. The other thing you can do is go all the way to the CPU and make a backdoor to the system, which allows you to teleport to the CPU as soon as you enter the system. Um, because this is one where it says no red alerts, I'm going to leave now rather than risk that. All right. My reputation went up to Cyber Wizard. I made almost as much money off the files as I did from the mission, and I got nine skill points. And then I lost 2,000 credits of rent. Okay. It's going to be a while before all my chips are done, so I'm going to put some more skill points into stealth. Um... Once my chips are all done, I'm going to put the rest of the points in the programming so I can upgrade my programs. All right, then you can see my reputation is maxed out for middle class. Um, I am not going to upgrade for a while, though, because I want to finish buying all the hardware that I want. Okay, now... I am... I don't have much more time today anyway, but... Um, I'm just going to see if there's any other interesting contracts. I need to see what the different ones are like. If I can't find any, then that'll be it. That'll be the video. Um, so I'll, I'll give my review now. Um, not good graphics, not good sound effects. The gameplay is super addictive, though. It is hard to put this game down. It's a, it's a one more turn, one more mission kind of game. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the tactical decisions you have to make. And then um, I'm a grinder, so I love watching my character get better and better and better. You start the game with all your skills at level one and your firmware all at level one and your programs all at level one. Um, so it's really fun to watch your character grow and become stronger. But yeah, I'm going to see, uh, is there any other interesting contracts? Yeah, that might be an interesting one. Run program. The client needs a special program activated on the Steiner Davian robotic system. <laughs> Lots of Easter eggs. That's a Battletech reference. Locate the target nodes by running the program, then activate the program within the node. You must remain in the node until the program finishes running. And I'm going to go ahead and get in there. And I have a backdoor to the system, so I'm going to use that. And the back door allows you, you're right in the CPU, so you can get the map right away. The other thing I'm going to do, so you have to load up the client supplied program. And this can get a little confusing. The scout and the tracker have the same icon, but this one's a probe and that one's an attack. Actually, this is a trace. It's a little bit different. So what the trace does is they try to trace you back to um, where you came from. Um, your goal is to defeat them before the trace is finished, or you might be in big trouble. They can One thing they can do is make it that all enemy ice is hostile, another is they can dump you, another is that they can trace you back to 
where you are and send police to come get you. Anyway, um, I am loading up the client program and then I run it. Okay, now I don't see anything, which means it's not in this system. It's, it basically tells me which node I need to go to. So I'm actually going to go back through this port. And let's see, this doorway queried me, so I'm going to deceive it. It looks like I need to go back again. I'm going to pull up a map. Pulling up a map makes it a lot easier. Okay. And that is the target. Um, I'm going to pull up a map again. Looks like the system is four layers deep. Scout is following me. It's nice they have a high speed connection in the system, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And then um, I don't have anything against an alarm going off. So I'm going to go get my mission done and I'm going to download some extra money, basically. So 10 rounds until completion. You can multitask, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guys while I'm waiting. All right, they're gone. Yep. So I silenced it in case the scout would come through again. Let's see, my pr Okay, this is where you really gotta pay attention. The virus program failed, I was noticed, and I'm no longer silenced, so this guy's red. I don't need silence back up. I got two of them. Oh, I got three of them. As long as I keep silence up, this actually is great. There. So I just killed three probes. Okay. Uh, I forgot where we were at, but uh, my mission is done, so I can leave now and get my money and my skills. Um, but did I scan? No, I haven't scanned yet. Evaluate. Yeah, and those are all worth nothing. Again, I don't have anything against the alarms going off. Um, here's an attack. I'm going to go ahead and infect it. Just in case it goes hostile later. Decrypt. 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 Virus. This guy's virus wore off. Okay, that one's gonna die. Okay. Um, so this attack one's actually gonna be killed eventually. Oh, let's see where it says passcode. That's for the whole system. So when I evaluate that passcode will give me a bonus to any deceive rolls. Yeah, no money though. This is kind of annoying. I can do the same thing. Okay. So you notice the, um, it'll take one turn to download files rather than four turns. I'm not having the best of luck with the files, but oh well. All right. 
Wade. Ellie Wade. Okay, that noise was, um, my hide program is activated because the gargoyle is still alive. All right, but I'm not having much luck, so that's going to be it. I'm going to jack out. I didn't get that much for, from the files, and then notice I didn't get that many skill points, and that has to do with the fact that um, the mission itself was pretty easy for my level. Um, it affects how many skill points you get. So, can't do anything with that. Um, so these ones, being higher difficulty, will be better for my skills. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one more quick mission and I'll be done. So this one you just have to go through and deactivate a bunch of IOs. I have to do four without setting off an alarm. Um, yeah, let's just do it real quick. And I won't stop to farm anything. Let's see, I will... I don't know if I've, I didn't really make this clear yet. Um, the game is a roguelike, so the systems are somewhat random. Um, although you'll see similar layouts. Scan, okay, so there's one of them. And I have three more to find. Oh, so not that one. Nope, not that one. So we'll go back through... ...the portal. Not that one. Alright, um... I will turn off the ice. Not that one. Not that one. Part of why this mission is so easy is because my um, stealth is so high. Okay. I've got two out of four done. I mean, it basically looks like I'm walking through their system unrestricted, and that's because of my stealth and my, um... Like, my stealth firmware skill and, uh, programs. That's three out of four. Just one more. Now, one other tactic I could be doing would be scanning the data stores to see if there's any clues, but I was able to find them all on my own. And then that was actually supposed to be a hard mission for me, but I'm really good at stealthing, so I got 13 skill points out of it. And then I got my proxy, anti-trace proxy. Okay. So then I keep upgrading my stuff. I'm gonna do stealth. And again, every point of that is like a plus 5% to whatever you're rolling, so it's really nice. Um, where are we at in our projects? CPU still gonna be six more days. That's six more days of um, money that I can be pulling in. Got a lot of money, thinking of which. And so I should be looking for, um, hardware that I don't have yet. Special order. 
So I have an anti-trace proxy, I have a design assistant, I have a proximity mapper. I do need a high bandwidth bus. Oh. I can afford that. I might actually do that. That increases your download speeds. I think mine's only rating four because that's all I could afford back when I got it. Yeah. So that would be a decent idea. Bio monitor. Let's see, do I already have that? Bio monitor with auto dump. I think I have a level one bio monitor. I might have level two. I don't remember. Trace monitor. I'm pretty sure I have that. Level three. It just lets me see how far the trace has come. Yeah. And then a neural damper. I think the neural damper is what I don't have yet. Because level five one is 32,000 credits. And I think I have only level one. And I have a surge suppressor level five. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is get the high bandwidth bus level five, then save up for the neural damper, and then I'm going to have all my hardware. Um, so then it's just saving up money for lifestyle um, stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. Special order, hardware, high bandwidth bus, order. So in six days, I'll have that. All right, and that's basically how the game goes. Um, just always looking at new missions. Steal and erase, alter files. These are all things that, you know, we do. Look at that, though. Target level 13. That's going to get hard. So, all right, anyway, if you liked the uh, Genesis Matrix system, you don't mind bad graphics. Um, I, I really like this game a lot. Again, I like the tactical options. It's a lot of fun. Um, you set off some red alerts, and then there's ice, like, running, like just trying to chase you down. You like put down smoke and like run and hide and come up with tactics to like pick them off one by one, like real warfare style. It's a lot of stuff going on in this game. It's pretty fun. Um, but that's it for now. So.